Togo's opened its doors in 1964, the brainchild of two NMU students, Tom Newman and Gordon Reed. Newman departed after a year, and then, in 1966, Reed also decided to move away. Gordon Reed and, and his wife uh, decided to move to California, and uh, I purchased the uh, Togo's name and the business from Gordon Reed and he moved to California. Fountain then moved to a new location farther up 3rd Street and eventually relocated to the business's current site. The best move I think Togo's ever did was move to this location. We did it because of parking. We have a full parking lot where before our parking was really stressed, like everything on 3rd Street. Um, also, we were able to put in a, our bakery. We always had to order out our bread every day. We started with the Sweet Goods Shop, then we went to Market Bakery, and then we had Trinary Bakery. And finally, by making this move, we got to open our own bakery, so we bake seven days a week now. And in the mid-90s, Fountain opened up a second Togo's location on US-41 in Harvey. In addition to growing and expanding, Togo's has developed a symbiotic relationship with the community. We pride ourselves in giving back to the community. We um, sponsor many, many, many different sports teams for our youngsters. Um, we also do donations to um, many charities in the area. We help out the Women's Center, the Jansen House, um, anything that we can think of that can help our community, Togos is always ready to do. Recently, they introduced a loyalty card that rewards continual customers. It's very convenient. It's tied to your phone number, um, whatever phone you usually like to call from. Don't even have to remember your card. Um, your points just get added automatically. And there's details on how many points that you can accrue per sandwich and how many you need to redeem. You can look that up on Facebook and our website. And one of the restaurant's coolest features is being able to order a sub with the ingredients on the side to take to a friend in, say, Chicago. Also, if you were wondering why it's called Togo's... In the original shop, there was absolutely no seating. The only seating was uh, milk carton crates. So the sandwiches were to go. But more significant than that was the two owners were Gordon and Tom. They took the T-O from Tom and the G-O from Gordon, and that's how the name Togos originated. In Marquette, Kevin Terpstra, ABC 10 and CW5 News.